go see what type of loot we got in here. Villagers, I hope you got something good for me. Here we go. We have a couple iron swords for you and all your buddies. Some iron leggings, a couple pieces of bread, and some apples. But, of course, there is more chicken. I need to test my sword on you. Do you want to get slaughtered? So we spawned right here, but if we look to our left, we have a red wool marker, and to our right, we have another red wool marker. And what that is going to mark is two mob spawners. So let's go check them out. To do creative mode it is awesome. Whoa, it is a party in here, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, witches? All right, well, what do we got in this chest? We got a couple music discs, of course, a couple pieces of string, and some gunpowder. Let's go ahead and take that. But yeah, you guys are just having a party let's go check out the other mob spawner it's getting dark in here getting dark in here so i should be close to the oh there's the mob spawner all right what do we got in this chest oh that's a lot of stuff okay so we got a couple pumpkin seeds beetroot seeds we got some iron horse armor which is pretty sweet also have a saddle some buckets some gunpowder just some simple you know mob spawner material those two are really close to spawn i mean there's one right there and there's one right there and there's also some really cool uh ravines under here i think there's like three or three plus ravines but we have a lot more to cover in the seed so let's go this way and would you look at that we have ourselves a desert temple we didn't even travel that far and we already got a desert temple Oop, don't step on the pressure plate though so we got a ton of gold in here it looks like we also have an enchanting uh book of uh protection three projectile protection and then over here we have some emeralds which is sweet trade with some of those villagers back at the village and then we have some diamonds so let's go ahead and snatch all these that is going to conclude the first seed let's do a quick inventory check bam we got a lot of loot and not to mention there's tons of mine shafts and ravines under us so you guys can of course go explore those but let's go check out our next seed here we are in our next seed and there is a village right behind us this is about the area where you're going to spawn might be you know a couple blocks over but um let's check out this village so let's get into it so there should be oh here we are so villager what do you have for me today do you have anything good no of course you don't you're a weaponsmith uh you better have something good in this chest though what do you got here all right all right, so we got some obsidian, and we got some iron uh, leggings, and a, p a couple iron ingots. However, there's a lot more stuff to this seed, so let's go check it out. So I'm on the way traveling to our next village. You can actually see it right over there, you know, right above my head, and check this out thing out like look at this thing could you imagine building a house on the side of this this would be such a cool location to have a mountainside mansion or something crazy like that or building a house on the very top of this like oh that would be crazy and then have like a water slide or a roller coaster going down the side of it that would be absurd but let's go to our next village so here's the big mountain thing. Jeez, that thing is huge. And then we have another village right here. Unfortunately, we don't have a butcher shop for a chest. But if we go a little bit ways over here, you guys can see, bam, right there, we have a hidden desert temple. This one is like very hidden, almost completely under the sand. But let's see what type of goodies we have. No, no, no. Wait. Oh, jeez. Yep. Okay, that was a fail. I so, let's see what we have here. We have an emerald. We have a Luck of the Sea 2 enchantment book. Over here, we have a golden apple, some gold horse armor. Then over here, we have another golden apple, some emeralds, uh, some iron ingots. And then a lot of gold and a lot of other stuff. So let's go ahead and grab all this stuff. If you decide to dig under in this area right here, there's the desert temple and there's the village. About in this kind of middle area, there is a massive uh, mine shaft. So, uh, yeah. Have fun with that. Let's go ahead and head this way past the gigantic mountain. And we're going to end up in a pretty sweet biome. Another collection of some awesome mountains with another village down there. But let's keep heading on our way to this sick biome. Woo! Another village. Only not even like maybe 200 blocks away from that other one. But let's check out what we have in here. I actually didn't know that this was here. So let's go see what we have. Come on, give me something good, villagers. Oh, okay. Well, it's not that bad. I mean, hey, now you have iron leggings and iron boots and an iron pickaxe. So you can get mining on some of the crazy mine shafts that are in this seed. But let's head 
to the biome. All right, here's another village that I just passed. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many villages. Here we are at our Mesa biome. Oh, do I just love these biomes. Let's see what we have in store for us in this biome. Dang, I was hoping we could find some above ground mine shafts, but unfortunately we can't find any. But we do have a mob spawner right in here. We actually have two of them. Here is our first one. Woo! What's up, zombies? How you doing? What you got in this chest? Some diamond horse armor? That's what I'm talking about. All righty. The sun is going down, but we got some mob spawners to take a look at. So let's go ahead and head down here. We got a skeleton spawner and a double chest. Take a look at this double chest. We got fortune 2 enchantment book, some gold horse armor, and a bunch of other crazy seeds and food. Oh, and some iron horse armor. And then connecting the spawner, we have a crazy mine shaft. Then if you head over here, uh, you also have another spawner over there for the crazy poisonous uh, cave spiders. And then we have another chest over here, revealing a golden apple, some gold ingots, and a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, I'll let you guys explore the rest of this mine shaft for yourself. So that was one crazy seed. A zombie, what did you think of that? That was crazy. Let's do a quick inventory check. Boom, we got a lot of awesome stuff. And there's still tons of villages out there for you guys to explore. And all the mine shafts and ravines. But yeah, let's go check out our next seed. The next seed we have here isn't anything super special. You're going to spawn in this place right here. And there's just a bunch of forest behind you or around you, I guess you could say. Um, there's some pretty cool, you know, uh, ravines and stuff under here, but let me show you guys something. Travel to this location, it's about a thousand blocks, which seems a very, very far, but it's really not that bad. And I'm probably just saying that because I'm in creative mode, but once you guys get to this location, it is insane. You'll also probably pass a couple villages when you're on your way there. Oh, and a desert temple. Let's stop in here and see what we have. Let's go ahead and go inside. So I'm on the way to our secret little location. And let's see what we have inside this desert temple. We got some gold. We got a little more gold and a golden apple. Not bad. And uh, okay, this, this desert temple kind of sucks. Okay, guys, so we are here. And before I reveal this, keep in mind, this is not an amplified world. But check this out. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Now, I know there's not, you know, diamonds everywhere, but imagine building some of, imagine some of the houses that you could build on this thing. This crazy mountain actually goes all the way up to the world high, almost actually. It actually goes up to 250 and the world high is 256. But imagine if you got a ton of friends on this world and you all built like just houses all over this thing. You created like a massive modern mansion like throughout this whole entire uh mountain for some of you guys i can understand that this seed probably sucks but for me i love seeds like this i love seeds that have some crazy uh mountains and nature into them where you can build some awesome houses here we are at the very top you can see the chat saying this is the height limit we can't build any farther above this because we're at the very very top so this mountain almost touches the very top of the minecraft world that is crazy imagine you and your friends playing on this world you have your house up here and some of your other friends have houses down there and stuff